you still grow vegetables too? Yes. This year, uh, last year we were certified for all of our poultry, and this year our gardens are certified. Mm -hmm. So we will have um, we'll have a variety of greens and uh, garlic. And Your garden is awesome this year. Thank you. Oh, thank you. People like our garden. <laughs> we have, you know, we're blessed. The nice advantage with chickens is that uh, they really produce a superior uh, manure f fertilizer that mm -hmm. uh, enables us to grow things that require a high nitrogen, and um, so that really is that is one of the the wonderful benefits for, of having children or having chickens. Chicken children. Chicken children. They are like my children. Yeah. Is that, is that it, it does improve the soil. Yeah. No. What other right. questions? Right. Uh, two questions. Yes. One, when the birds that don't get the light start going to fly about, how much does their feed drop? And two, can their feed does not drop. They oh, continue yeah. eating. Yeah, that would be very <laughs> <laughs> And then the other is, can you identify some of the breeds that weren't as light sensitive in terms of rain? Can you name some of those? Or, uh, basically, basically the birds that are not light sensitive are the birds that are first year layers. Oh, okay. Once, once they, once they've gone through their first year cycle, then, then they will always that that period of time at the end of August and September is that, that drop in light is a huge trigger for the birds. It says winter's coming. I need to prepare. All right. So, so think about it. It requires a lot of extra nutrition on their part to produce an egg and to stay warm, all right? So what they do at, at that time in August when the light levels drop, start to drop, they start dropping feathers. They have to replace, they have to get a whole new winter coat before the weather gets cold. So they drop all their feathers, they are naked as naked can be, running around looking sad and pathetic like they're going to drop dead any day. And I think, oh my god, I'm a terrible chicken farmer. How can I have chickens like this? I do this every year. You think that would. <laughs> and then in, a, in six or eight weeks, lo and behold, they've got a whole new outfit and they're walking around bragging about it. <laughs> so um, to answer your question, they, it really is that first year. After the first year, the first year, it it's almost seems like nothing is going to prevent them from laying. They will lay, they will lay almost <coughs> any day, day for that whole first year. Once they start going through the molting process, it's like that's hardwired into their system. So the light sensitivity is more about age than three. Yeah. Okay. I'd say so. I don't know. I'm no, not aware of I'm not aware of any breeds that are tougher than others. You know, I, I I fluctuate on that. There are some that seem to shut down and stay shut down for longer than others. Um, <coughs> certainly, I, we've we've moved, we've gone through the commercial hybrid chickens, and they lay fabulously big, beautiful eggs for about six months, and then. They just make me crazy, and I can't wait to chop their heads off. <laughs> the hybrid layers tend to be, I mean, the heritage layers tend to be more consistent in laying a good quality egg for a longer period of time. I, I guess that would be my point. So. Uh, we, we emphasize, we try to pick breeds that are good winter layers. There, maybe that might be the question better. There are some chickens that are better winter layers than others, and we try to really concentrate on, on birds that can tolerate the extreme cold because we are in northern climate here. That contributes. What else can I answer? Then? Well, since chickens tend to shut down in the wintertime, would you let them go and not lay eggs for a whole season? Would that stop them from laying in the spring? No, it wouldn't. So maybe 
Maybe a wood five. 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 My own chickens, a couple. And let them take a rest for the winter. They wouldn't stop them. In 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 olden times, probably in your <laughs> my day, in, in your early days. Let's say. <coughs> younger days. Yeah, yeah probably time. even before that. Before the end of the modern chicken, let's say that. Um, what they would do is they would store it. And there's a product here we go. Sodium silicate. Calcium silicate, I think it's what water it's called. Water glassing eggs. And you, they would store eggs in, in big glass jars packed in this material that you can still get today. And those eggs will last two years or more. So what would happen is people would store their eggs during the time of year when chickens lay, you know, now through the, through the summer, and they would store them and get them through the winter months when they do not lay. So you can still water glass eggs. You can still water glass eggs. Maybe a can will before you try to eat them. Yeah. So you say, chickens are better. Generally, generally a chicken that is trying to think. General rule of thumb, and it's not always true, but general rule of thumb is a chicken older than 20 weeks is, is going to have a finely striated muscle system, muscular, musculature to it. So that when you cook it, if you want to cook that chicken, the, the meat would come off sort of in strings. It's not that it's not edible or flavorful, but it might it has a different texture to it. The older the bird, absolutely the better the broth. You get a deep, rich, deep, rich broth. It has a lot, it's very rich in omega 3s. It's got a lot of good fats in it, is what it is. What it a lot of calcium. A lot of calcium. Um, a lot of, mm -hmm. um, I think what you're thinking of is collagen in the bones. It has a lot of collagen in the bones, which is why a lot of people We'll make broth out of chicken legs, oh, chicken feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, the old timers, the old timers um, would tell me I was, when I first started raising chickens, and I would take my birds to the processor for processing, and I saw her packing up chicken feet, and I said, "Why are you keeping chicken feet?" And she said, "The old guy down the road's got really severe arthritis, and he says this is the only thing that keeps yeah. keeps his joints moving." Is, is the collagen, he cooks down the chicken feet, and the collagen in the, in the bones, in the legs, and the, in the feet improve, are like a natural treatment for arthritis. Mm -hmm. How do you cook birds without borders? Is that much water? I have seen it. Yeah. You put carrots, celery, onion, garlic in the bottom, and legs. Chicken over that, cover it with aluminum foil, cook it for four hours. And then steam it. Yep. All yep. yep. oh, that tender is yeah. me. Yep. Kind of like crock pot. Uh -huh. It's kind of like a crock pot. Yes, sir. Yeah. Question.